What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Kino Trice Show, hosted by yours truly, Kino Trice. Now, I want to start off today by saying that there's some white folks out here that still don't get it. Now, I live in a very diverse neighborhood, and what I mean when I say diverse is it's mostly white folks. Few of us blacks, few Indians, few Asians, few Hispanics. Hell, I'm sure there's a few pedophiles that live around here. I just hope they don't live next door to me. Although I did see my neighbor the other day at the mailbox with a full Boy Scout uniform on, which is odd, because he ain't got no kids. I need to check and see if he's registered. But anyway, there's a Publix in my neighborhood, and this Publix is the bomb. I mean, it's always clean, the food is fresh, everybody that works there is cool, and I love going there. Except occasionally, you know, you have them white folks who assume I'm the help and want to ask me um, where we keep the brown rice or where can they find the chicken broth, which confuses the hell out of me because I'm usually wearing sweats. You know I don't damn work here. Get away from me. So I'm there the other day and I'm standing in line. And I turn around and this older white lady walks up behind me, looking like Dorothy from the Golden Girls, all shimmery and distinguished. And she strikes up a conversation with me, which made me feel real good. That means I had on my non-threatening Negro look. But she was cool. So as we get closer to the register, I noticed that the cashier also was a black man. And when she saw him, she lost her mind. And I can tell Patrick was kind of annoyed. He gave her that little phony, calm your ass down wave. You know what that wave looks like. I'm sure you've gotten one or two in your day, I'm sure. But anyway, so she continues to talk to me and she goes into this spiel about Patrick. Ah, Patrick is my favorite boy. He is so sweet. And I paused because I was in shock. Did this lady just call this grown ass black man boy in 2014? At that moment, I thought I had just met the real Miss Millie from The Color Purple. All I was doing was just waiting on the big question. You wanna come work for me? Be my maid? And I'd have been just like Miss Sophia. Hell no. Now did I think she was racist? Nah, I didn't. I just thought she was a little ignorant. And maybe wherever she's from, wasn't a lot of black people. Well, she sure enjoyed her black people now. Because she knew every black person that worked in the place. And even though there was a lot of white folks around, she did not acknowledge one other white person. It was kind of like she was in her own little Negro wonderland and she was dying to Ross from the Wiz and all the Negroes was going to start dancing and singing Ease On Down the Road so she can find the wizard and... Get her old ass back to Kansas to be with her Annie M. It was weird. But I guess there's still some white folks out there just like that. Stuck in the 60s. But next time I'm around an older white person and they start acting a little racist, a little weird. I'm just going to bust out into the Martin Luther King I Have a Dream speech. Black men and white men. Jews and Gentiles. Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands in singing the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. <laughs> That'll confuse the hell of them white folks, but it sure would be funny. <laughs> I'm done tripping now. I just wanted to tell y'all my story. And until next time, my name is Keno Trice. Peace.